it's very important for, for us to mark uh, the history of the school. Um, it's been going for a long time and it has a long and, and storied past. And definitely, Tom Stillen is, is one of the, the, the characters um, in every sense of the word uh, that has come through the doors. So he was uh, based in in his time uh, to on Sligo and Mayo in his youth and then went uh, to Dublin uh, and ultimately came back to Galway. Um, he a, was a revolution really in every sense and I, and I think we'll see that later on in the historical, historical talk. It's not every professor of chemistry will have applied for uh, his position while in jail uh, and then come to the interview once he was released. Um, but it was also revolutionary in terms of, of the science, uh, starting the, the interest in any oil Galway carbohydrate chemistry, looking at the, the natural resources around Galway and trying to figure out what we could um, what we could use um, in our chemistry that would be unique to our environment. So we started in the areas of seaweed and that led to, to carbohydrate research. And the seaweed led to uh, convincing the government actually to make investment in seaweed research. Um, and and the, the interest in carbohydrate chemistry continued. Um, he, he continued as, as um, the professor of 1954. And his position was, he was um, uh, taken over by McCullough, who was his old student. So the interest continued from there. And has continued through the years in, in chemistry but also, I suppose, it, it has grown down as well in, in carbohydrate interest in, in the, uh, the areas of fuels, but also in the areas of biochemistry and others. Um, so I'm very grateful to uh, Professor Paul Murphy for uh, coming up with the idea and instigating this symposium, uh, and also uh, Joe Byrne and uh, Stiliano Miriali, who have helped Paul put this day together, and also I know there's been a considerable input from others, including Paul's research group in the setup of class and things like that. So thanks to them. Um, as I said, the, the carbohydrate research in, in the university spans a lot of things, and, and today's symposium spans a lot of things as well. So carbohydrates and cellulose, which you know is in, in terms of structural, but also fuels and things like that. So we hear something about that this morning. Also carbohydrates and drug discovery and a little bit about what to do with health and carbohydrates. And we're also going to celebrate um, one of Dylan's other legacies, which is uh, Professor Niall Dillon, um, who is a very respected um, researcher and molecular biologist. He's going to talk to us later on, and he is a relative of Dylan's. So we kind of get the, the legacy on both folks. And then ultimately, we're going to have the, the Treaties competition, where we see current research um, presented in, the, in a accessible way for a general audience and something that is absolutely unique to a, a symposium or one that I could call it in any way, a ballet performance at the end uh, inspired by the structure of benzene, which is going to be very interesting. So um, thank you to all those who have been involved in the organization and I'm going to start now um, by um, introducing our first speaker. So the first speaker is uh, Zoe Popper. So Zoe carried out her PhD at the University of Edinburgh, uh, had postdoctoral positions in uh, Edinburgh, and then went to Athens, Georgia, before ultimately came back to Galway and started her research. Um, so we're very grateful for Zoe uh, coming back today from Detroit to give us our, our, our talk. So our talk is uh, titled Sweetness and Fight Carbohydrates for Plant Protection. 